Alright, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Sotko here. Welcome back to the channel. Got a whole bunch of good crypto news stuff for you today. And the first thing I want to talk about, former Cryptopia developer says hack was an inside job. So on July 18th, a Twitter user claiming to be a former Cryptopia developer tweeted a link, uh, an article uh, which he claims provides the complete story of the fraudulent hostile takeover of Cryptopia by Intranel from its founders, Adam and Rob. So according to VC Dragon, the author of the Steema post, he and Cryptopia co-founder Adam began building Cryptopia as a hobby project around January 2014. And as the project, project took form, Adam eventually resigned from his developer position at Intranel. So VC Dragon explained that Intranel did not want to lose Adam as an employee and offered the duo a room to rent at their company office and Intranel's interest continued to grow as the crypto market and exchange took off. As the start of 2017, Adam and VC Dragon felt they could benefit from the business development support Intranel could provide where they had, I guess, been working at the time. Intranel made us an offer that for 20% of the company, they would handle all of the business management, developing things like helping the, with hiring and managing staff, paying tax, lobbying for regulator guidance, and all the boring business stuff. The firm also offered to contract uh, to contract four of their staff uh, to the developers at a discounted rate and also provide assistance with finding top talent for Cryptopia. It was at the point that the story takes a turn for the worse. According to the lengthy and detailed post, Intranel hired staff for themselves and contracted these newly acquired employees to the Cryptopia founders at exorbitant rates. The new staff were given unwarranted managerial latitude. And once Cryptopia was reliant on the new staff, Intranel demanded an extra 5% in the exchange. And eventually Adam resigned from the pressure and VC Dragon followed Intranel's advice to take a holiday in order to avoid burnout. And he claims that he was not paid during his one month paid or one month holiday and found that his workplace has been uh, filled upon returning to Intranel. He says also, um, he also said that Intranel issued a div uh, dividend to everyone except Adam and himself and explained that Intranel forced the extra 5% as they needed the extra shares to block any major transaction or trans uh, a transaction uh, the company tried to undertake so they could not achieve a 75% threshold. Uh, so the former developer alleges that Intranel bled Cryptopia dry while also methodically absorbing the company to, into its own ownership. Intranel supposedly issued themselves a loan for 300000 to cover startup costs and they repeatedly took on clients using Cryptopia's name, then billed the company for the work. They bled money everywhere they could, he says. We paid for tax on their stuff, on their staff's flu shots. We paid taxes on Christmas fits to their staff and our company bought the gifts. Everything they were unable to take for themselves, they pissed into the wind on needless expenses and luxuries to the company could not afford. That ultimately buried us. Uh, so apparently Intranel attempted to sell the company right out from underneath the co-founders on three separate occasions. By the time Intranel was forced, forcibly separated from Cryptopia, the company was nearly bankrupt. VC Dragon ends his article by concluding that he believes the hack was intentionally deployed to cover all of the idiotic business practices and their plan to completely absorb and wreck uh, Cryptopia was interrupted after they were forcibly removed from the company. VC Dragon fears that the saga is not yet complete as Intranel are currently partnered with ANZ, a bank that previously refused to provide Cryptopia with banking services, and PwC, a firm which is tasked with providing legal counsel to Cryptopia. So it's hard to say. I didn't read the entire full-length article, uh, just sort of the recap of it in this article. But uh, that makes a lot of sense because it was known that the original creators of Cryptopia, they stepped down for a little while. And then when that hack occurred, uh, there was I was reading articles on my channel saying that uh, Cryptopia essentially had no idea what they were doing. And they needed the two uh, initial founding members to come back and try and help them through this hack, which apparently that just simply wasn't enough so moving on here uh for 15k this guy will fake your exchange volume and you'll get on coin market cap so to crypto professionals trying to legitimize their industry market manipulation is a scourge 21 year old alex andrew i don't know i got nothing 
It's a living. So a sophomore at Moscow State University, Andrunian uh, Alexei, is the co-founder of Gotbit, a firm that specializes in making obscure cryptocurrencies look like they're being actively traded. For a fee, the two-man shop will program bots to trade a token back and forth uh, with each other on also ran exchanges until it has enough volume to get listed on coin market cap. Once it appears on that influential market data site, an asset can gain attention of larger platforms and bigger investors. He says the business is not entirely ethical. So if trades happen outside the bid ask price or constantly within the bid ask price, that is a clear example of wash trading in action. One could look at the trade interval and trade size to detect common recurring patterns to find wash trading activity. So wash trading is a big problem on exchanges in the crypto world because it's totally unregulated. And uh, this guy just absolutely admits, oh yeah, no, for like $15,000, I'll just wash trade your, uh, your shit coin. And... Um, you know, and then it eventually will get listed on Quant Market Cap. So that's good to know. Uh, moving on to different news. Gang of masked men raid Bitcoin exchange in Birmingham. So a gang of masked men have raided a Bitcoin exchange in the English city of Birmingham. Local Facebook page Brum's updated posted uh, footage of the burglars ransacking the building as sirens blared on July 15th. This is just total genius robbing, though. I mean, these are genius uh, these have to be geniuses. So witnesses look on helplessly as the robbery unfolds, and seconds later, the gang sped away from the sun, from the scene in a in a waiting car. Uh, the police has launched an investigation, but it confirmed that nothing of value was stolen from the business. And according to the Daily Mail, the thieves had attempted to steal a Bitcoin ATM using a rope attached to their car. The owner of the establishment, Adam Gromowski, told the newspaper that he believes the robbers were after the cash inside the machine rather than cryptocurrency because there are no Bitcoin in the machine. They're being sent directly from our server. So uh, I think this is the second time I've read an article so far on my channel where somebody had sped away and, or attempted to or either did or did not steal a Bitcoin ATM, whether they failed or they actually got it. Uh, and turns out there's nothing inside of it. So imagine like grabbing that Bitcoin ATM and just beating it open with a sledgehammer and prying it and, and then opening up and there's nothing in there because they, they remove the money every night. And then at the same time, there are no Bitcoin actually in them. So uh, just, I mean, IQ... 200 easy so moving on to another article here this is kind of interesting what happened to the gemini dollar supply is down 92 percent of the gemini dollar which is a stable coin on the gemini platform uh which is interesting because i don't really know anybody who uses gemini as as an exchange i don't know why you would use gemini as an exchange the fees are some of the highest in the industry for basically no reason uh, i i really don't understand the the allure of gemini the exchange uh now they have a bunch of advertisements all over new york city and i think like maybe chicago and stuff too but i know in new york city like in all the like somewhere on taxi cabs and in the subway and stuff and that's really great advertising in the crypto world is actually something somewhat new within the past year maybe year and a half max uh but so uh, I'll tell you my theory on this in a moment. The market capitalization of the dollar pegged token has been on its way down since December 20th, 2018. It slipped from an all time high of 103 million to 7.9 million at the time of this writing. It's basically nothing, uh, marking a 92% drop in just seven months. And you can see with the Gemini chart, so at first glance, the chart might be a little confusing because you got all these different colors here. But the green is the price, and it's a stable coin, so it almost always stays the same value, except for this little guy and that little guy, that little guy, that little guy. Don't worry about those little guys, okay? Don't worry about those little guys. It's it's a stable coin, so it's a, the price is essentially a dollar. Um, and what you really want to see here, like ignore the gold. Uh, but the market cap, the blue market cap, this means how many like are coming into existence, how many. Uh, GUSD are coming into existence. You can see it's just this tremendous dump uh, because uh, other stable coins are, are faring far better than Gemini dollar. Paxo standard token has a market cap of 168 million. Circles USDCs towering uh, at 406 million. Uh, stable coin Tether is at four some billion uh, at press time. Uh, so I think I think the reason why is it's like nobody cares on Gemini. I, I don't think that many people use Gemini. And I think, uh, 
I think it was sort of a, a hype thing. Is like when people got a Gemini, like, oh, the Winklevoss twins are, are are running it. Oh man, it's it's supposed to be for like institutional investors. Oh, it, like look at all these advertise, you know, adverts all over the place. The problem is, is that uh, Gemini, um, what's the word for it? Sucks. Uh, it charges you like one and a half percent for for trading. That's that's absolutely absolutely outrageous. That's essentially exponentially larger than some exchanges. Uh, it's just absolutely outrageous. I, I have no clue, no clue why Gemini has has the fees that they do. I guess they think they can get away with it, but apparently not so much, considering their uh, exchange is kind of dying pretty quickly, or at least their stablecoin is. Now moving on here, coin market cap two hundred eighty three billion market cap. We did kind of see some green for a little while there. We we had that that explosive uh, rise real quick. It was like a thousand dollars and basically. Uh, in minutes on Bitcoin there. But again, could be another whale purchase that will eventually just dump uh, after a few days or after Bitcoin goes up a little bit more. But we'll have to see uh, what's going on here. Not too much green. Uh, and Well, 50-50, baby. 50-50 green. Uh, winner of the day. Japan content, uh, for some reason, doing extremely well. Wax, loser of the day. Quant Energy actually is losing for the day here. Energy's way down. Energy uh, went up to about 9 or $10 for um, a little while there. And for it likes to go up to about 83,000, 80,000 Satoshi or so, and then dip to like 60, 50,000, and then go back up. So energy is kind of a wacky currency. Um, the only thing I, I really enjoy uh, energy, um, energy coin, like it, it's a very good project in my eyes. However, um, they have an airdrop coming soon, which I encouraged people to get in on, of course, because it's essentially free free crypto. However, uh, once that energy um, is distributed, it's it's significant. I think it goes out to like 100,000 people or something like that. So we're talking like four or $500, $300 per person. Uh, and I don't think the market can absorb that. So I think as soon as the energy tokens go out, uh, th this coin is going to be hurting real bad. So if you do have energy coin, uh, make sure that like as soon as you get that drop, I would... I, in my opinion, I again, again, this is totally my opinion. Um, I'd get rid of them pretty quick because I don't think it's going to last unless you're in it for the absolute long, 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 long term. Uh, but good day trading opportunity, I suppose, because you know, with all this energy like being airdropped into the ecosystem, and it, it is a very significant amount with each coin being worth five, fifty, six dollars a piece. Um, there, there's no way the market can absorb it. So uh, there's just no way this is going to help the ecosystem right now, or at least the the, the the price of the token go up, it's only going to make it down, go down. There's going to be a lot of people that really aren't into energy that are just going to get the energy and immediately sell it for something else. So I, I definitely uh, just want to throw that out there to everybody that that, that may be a possibility. Bitcoin dominance at 65.8%. So that's going way up as well. But that's all I have for you guys today. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the video. It helps me out a lot. My social media in the description. As usual, I will see you guys next time.